Now, let's talk about the second law of exponent, which is the quotient law. Now, according to quotient law, when you are dividing exponential expressions that have the same base, you just need to copy the base or the common base and subtract the exponents. So, let's try to do it. If we have here a raised to m divided by a raised to n, Okay, since they have common base, we are just going to copy it. So, we have your A, and then we have to subtract the exponent M minus N. Now, how are we going to apply that to our given? Let's try. Okay, for number 1, we have X raised to 5 divided by X raised to 3. Since they have common base, we are just going to copy the common base, which is X, and then subtract the exponents. So, we have here 5 minus 3. Now, what is 5 minus 3? That's 2. So, the exponent of our base X is 2. So, our final answer is X raised to 2. Now, for number 2, we have a raised to 4, b raised to 7, divided by a, b raised to 6. Since we have two variables here, we are just going to have it one by one. So, let's focus with the first variable, a. Okay, a raised to 4 divided by a. So, you copy the base, which is a, and then you subtract the exponents. A 4 minus, since the, we have or we don't have any exponent here, it means the exponent here is 1, okay? Our invisible 1. So, we have 4 minus 1. And then for b, we have a 7, okay, this one, minus a 6. Okay, let's try to simplify. 4 minus 1 is 3. So, we have your A raised to 3 and then B, 7 minus 6 is 1. Since the exponent is 1, you don't need to write it. Ha? If the uh, variable has no exponent, it means its exponent is 1. It's understood uh, that that Sorry, that the exponent is 1. So, you don't need to write it. Okay? So, the final answer is A raised to 3 and then B. Okay? Now, for number 3, we have C raised to 4 divided by D raised to 5. Okay? As you can see, our base are different. Okay? So, we cannot subtract the exponents. Since we cannot subtract it, we just have to copy it. So, we have C raised to 4 over D raised to 5. We cannot combine it. So, this will be our final answer for that. Now, for number 4, we have here numerical coefficients 6 and negative 3. Okay, so we have 6 so y raised to 9 divided by negative 3 y raised to 5. Since we have the numerical coefficients, we have to divide it first. Okay, 6 divided by negative 3 is correct. 2 or negative 2. Negative, ha? Because they, ha they, are, or they are having different sign. Okay, now y raised to 9, y raised to 5, they have the same base y, and then 9 minus 5. Now, what is the final answer? 9 minus 5 is correct 4. So, the final answer will be negative 2, y raised to 4. Okay, now for your turn, okay, you have to attach a picture of your solution on the comment section, ha? We have your negative 24, x raised to 4, y raised to 12, divided by 3, x, y raised to 10. I'll be waiting for your answers, okay? And don't forget to follow our Facebook page, Love Math TV, and our YouTube channel, Love Math TV. Please like and share this video. Bye!